Okay, people. I'm just going to carry on. Like I said, my life is slowing down and it's 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 implanting itself into the kitchen. <laughs> I'm rooting into the kitchen, people. Remember these? This is the uh, watermelon juice. All right. One for Alea May and one for Amari. Alea May is a little more picky, but Amari really likes it. So anyway, they're unthawing. So this works, people. This really does work. But it's time consuming, and ideally you would want a bigger kitchen, bigger kitchen for the things that I'm doing. This is just the introduction for what I'm going to do today. It's about, oh, I don't know, 11, 11.30 in the morning. I've been washing dishes. And then after I'm washing dishes, I'm going to clear off the counters and then take fresh, clean water with just a little bit of bleach and, you know, wipe everything down again and get into round. What, what round am I in now, right, people? <laughs> round, round something. So this is, this, this is the plan for the day. I still have to uh, strain, turn off the, the pot with the beef, right? And then I'm going to just let it cool down, take everything out, strain it and whatever and... And I've got spinach. I'm going to try something different here, people. I've got spinach that I'm going to boil, and I'm going in a pot by itself, right? And then I'm going to chop it real fine, and then I'm going to take some of those jars, and I am going to. This is a way to start incorporating more greens into Amari's diet with convenience. And then I'm going to... I don't have enough little containers and enough freezer space to make individual... I'll show you what I'm kind of going to do, but I have to kind of improvise because I don't have enough freezer, freezer space. And any time I go off and I buy all these little plastic containers, you know, over the years... The kids, the older ones, they never really cared about them, and you know, they or Andre would take them outside, and the lids get lost, and you know. So anyway, long story short, I'm not in the mood to go off and spend fifty dollars on a bunch of containers that at this point still might get lost around the house. So I just kind of have to improvise with what I have, right? And since I've got all this beef broth now, what I made last night for Amari, I'm actually going to separate in two separate containers, and I'm going to freeze them. Because I don't want to give them uh, beef and beef and beef three times in a row. So if I take what I made last night and freeze them in four or five days from now, I can take one out and give it to him then after I've given him other things. Do you see how my brain... And trust me, people, when I woke up this morning, my head... Oh, it was just pounding, 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 pounding. I took a couple of Tylenol, so it's calming down. But besides that point... So anyway, I've got some spinach that I'm going to boil up. I'm going to chop it up real fine. And then I'm going to um, blend it in with this just plain old beef broth by itself. And I'm going to freeze it that way so that when I need it, I have it. I've got some miscellaneous beets around the house that I want to uh, peel, shred, boil, and then... I don't know. I want to do something with them. I want to start giving them beets, right? So I'm going to experiment a little bit with that. Then I bought some onions last week that were, like, discounted that I have to kind of, like, either throw them into the compost or peel them and see if anything's salvageable, and then I'm going to just dehydrate them, right? So that means I have to go dig out the freaking high dehydrator. I just put the dehydrator away. Not that I have any place for the dehydrator, but besides that point... I don't want these onions to go completely to waste. The pears didn't make it. The pears are going into the compost pile, right? But that's okay. I don't, I, I don't, whenever, whenever I bring home vegetables, if I buy discount, you know, obviously they go. And in my mind, I'm superwoman. You know, I've got the best kitchen on the planet. I can do everything in four days. And, you know, not everything makes it. So, you know, some of this stuff goes into the compost, right? So the pears didn't make it. So they're going to go into the compost, so I'm going to tackle these onions that I've got. So I'm going to show you, right, where I'm at with the onions. I'm going to tackle some beets today, and, and you know, since I'm in the kitchen, people, that's the thing. I'm in the kitchen, right? 
and I'm going to shred them, I'm going to boil them, I'm going to get them ready for for something, right? And then the spinach, I, I'm, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put some in jars with the broth and freeze them that way, right? Because uh, I don't want to can anything, so I'm just going to you know, I don't want all this broth sitting up in my fridge and going to waste. I'll leave some in the fridge, but not all of it, right? And so, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I guess I'm just going to walk you through it for the ones that want to watch, right? I mean, I don't know why you would be interested in watching this stuff other than, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe you know somebody that's struggling with the issues that I'm struggling with when it comes to, you know, feeding a child with special needs or just, you know, coping with life in general or whatever it is that goes on in your life. Um, so anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so this was what I, w I was talking about. Like, you get a dollar for a bag. I made the mistake of letting these things sit in a bag and they've been sweating. So anyway, that's okay though. So you just take off what's not good, right? And then you wash it and then you chop it and you dehydrate it. Hold on. Now, you see, if I wouldn't have forgot about them, I would have gotten more. But because they sat in a plastic bag that was tied up, that was kind of sweating. But that's okay. Um, I do have some of these already, like, dehydrated in food, long-term food storage. But anyway, it was only two bucks, right? So what I do with this stuff, people, is I take it, and I, um, and this is what I'm going to do with this one. This is the scraps, right? I am going to, at some point in my yard, go out today. I don't know when, but hopefully today at some point. And then I pick up the stumps that I have, wood stumps, and I put them underneath the wood stumps, and then I put the stumps back down. And what that does is it helps to feed the worms as they're eating the stump to make rich dirt, right? This I'm going to dehydrate. Okay. <clears throat> so this has been on two all night. You can see it got richer. So now I'm going to turn off the heat and let it cool down for a minute. And then I'm going to strain it. And I'm going to put some in jars so I can freeze it. This time I'm going to label my lids. <laughs> but I think I'm going to get that spinach. I'm going to boil it. I'm going to chop it. And I'm going to put some of that spinach in some of these jars. So that when I use the jar, mainly for Amari, right? Cook his vegetables. In this case, I can just pour the juice with the spinach right into the vegetable. Right? For convenience. Because, you know, I'm, I should really be out in the yard, people. But it's cold outside today, so I don't know. Hold on. Is that quiet? Okay, moving along. <laughs> I swear, sometimes this I have a nervous breakdown with this stuff, but besides that point. So here's the spinach. Do that. <clears throat> Remember I told you I'm trying to try different things here? So I'm going to open this up, and at some point gonna use some of this broth to make a little bit of a noodle soup right here's some bean sprouts and here's a little bit of broccoli and a little bit of mushrooms so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of this ready in a separate bowl so that when I make the noodle soup I can put that in there but this I'm gonna boil separately and I'm gonna chop it up for the most part and then when I'm filling up my jars with the beef broth, I'm going to add this into the beef broth. And then later on, it will be frozen. And then I'm going to use those jars with the spinach already in it. Right? Because, you know, I only have so much time in a day, people. I'm not getting the taxes done. I'm not doing non-profit freaking stuff. Right? You know, I'm not working on Uncle John's stuff. I'm not working on Shimei's stuff. You know, I've got to get out in the yard. So anyway, we'll be back. Okay, so moving along. I just used that. This was all floating. But of course, you got to still check it, right? These are the bones. I'm going to put those bones in my garden, people. Starting the spinach. I'm going to get everything into one little pot. All right, here's some more. That's two bunches of spinach. And I left a little bit out for these noodles that I'm going to do. And with some of that meat, we're going to make little tacos, too. So I guess, because, you know, got to think about Andre, right? It's not just about Amari. It's Andre, too. Uh, um, Andre likes tacos. So I'm gonna, now going to put more of this into there. You know, cover it up. If you notice this fork, people, it's a, it's a, it's a, what's it called? 
Mm -hmm. Silver, right? And now I'm going to strain this. Now, do you see how my life slows down? <laughs> Last night I gave him, he didn't want the juice after he had his dinner, so I gave him a, a little cup, right, with some little bit of milk. The sippy cups. So, he doesn't really like the sippy cups, but he got a little bit out of it, so that's okay. But do you see what I'm doing here, people? I have to, right? He can't hold it. Oh, see? So you kind of have to do it. You got to help him. So this is what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know. This uh, watermelon juice, he really likes it. It's very cold right now, though. So this is what he's getting right now. Alea May is just mad because she's in the playpen. <laughs> I know. You don't like being in there by yourself. If somebody's in the living room with with her, she's not so bad. But if she's in here by herself, she doesn't she doesn't really like it, right? So anyway, so now I have to. This is what I I I I force myself just to slow down. Remember, I told you I have to reset my life and. It's like my life is slowing down. So in this case, I have to force myself to slow down. Right? And and do this several times a day. Right? And now that I'm thinking to bring in smaller portions, you know, throughout the day, right? That's, you know, you're slowing down even more. Right? So... Right now, the spinach is on, like, one or two. <laughs> so, I get to now just sit here and, and kind of, like, reflect. All right. I'm reflecting. That's what I'm doing, people. Sometimes I ask myself, how did I get into this situation? You know, why me? I, I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world that has said that, why Amari, you know, why did Amari have to be in this position? You know, he didn't deserve this, you know, completely dependent on other people to provide for him every day, every day, people, for the rest of his life, All right? He's still little, so this is how I like to hold him. I, I took off my glasses, I can't see. Uh, do you see how he is? I'm, he's just leaning up against me, right? So usually when I feed him, I hold him like this, but although I'm sitting up, right? And then I have a, like a cloth underneath his chin, and I feed him like that as I hold him. And uh, I'm like, gee, Murray, you know, sooner or later you're going to get bigger because we got our little routine here, right? Like he's quite comfortable to be in this position and... I, I I can manage him quite well in this position. Like, he gets com extremely relaxed. And uh, me, I mean, obviously, I, I, I got I, I, other things I need to do, but you know, what can I do, people? Right? You know, CIBC Bank, Fraser Health Authority, you know, they're, they're, they're holding life circumstances against me. You know, this isn't really any different... Then when I was looking after Uncle John, because I used to cook for him all the time, people. You know, I did the bulk of the work, right? You know, I was I was the workhorse, right? Sure, Uncle John did dishes and he took out the garbage and he walked the kids to school and, you know, that kind of thing. But it was me that, like, did the work, the hard work, the heavy-duty work, and uh, the daily work, the daily work, people, right? And the cooking and the shopping and the paying of the bills and... Just, just all of it, and, you know, I'm like, I'm, but with Amari, it's, it's a little more, uh, intense. I don't want to say severe, but it's just, it's more intense, right? Because, you know, like, you can see me racking my brains here, right? If I had more counter space people and a better kitchen, I'd be making yogurt right now, and I'd be making... Uh, what do you call that? Coconut freaking, uh, what is it called? Um, well, I guess it's called coconut yogurt, right? <laughs> right? And I'd be making puddings. and But, you know, you need lots of counter space for that kind of stuff. And 
you need, you know, more storage, you like, you know, two functional fridges and, you know, building this routine. So I'm just working around with what I have, grateful that my landlords allow me to stay in this house so that I can figure out my life because in many ways it's spiraling down because, I mean, sure, he's easy to hold at this point doing it this way, but what's going to happen when he's 7, 8 and... You know, by that time, I'll be like 62 or 65 or 68 years old. And all I can do, I guess, at this point, I guess, is to, is to uh, what do you call it, try and build in that meal program so that, you know, when it gets my time where I can't do it, whoever is looking after him can follow up on it. And that's assuming that it works because we don't even know if it's going to work yet. Like, that's why I'm going to put that beef with the carrots and the marrow in the freezer in two separate little containers because I don't want to give him beef, beef, beef. He got the beef last night. That's good enough in terms of the actual beef itself, right? Because beef is, is binding, right? But beef builds bones, right? And then meat builds bones. So, you know, instead I'm going to do the beef broth with the spinach today with him. I'm going to change it up. Now, he's never had spinach because, you know, I don't I don't cook those full meals, right? Because, one, I don't have the time. Two, I don't really have the kitchen space. And, and three, you know, like, there's only so much, so many people around to eat so much at one time, right? So, you know, I'm not going to make a small little bit of spinach just for Amari and let the rest sit in the fridge and rot. Or what, I'm just using that as an example, right? And I already tend to overbuy on vegetables because in my mind, I'm superwoman and I can cook everything up in three days. When in reality, sometimes it takes longer than that because I don't have the proper kitchen or whatever, right? So look how fast he's drinking this. He loves it, right? He loves it. I'm telling you, watermelon juice is the best. And pretty soon, actually next week, you know, in a week, week and a half from now, you're going to see me doing another... Two more watermelons going through that process, and, and, and he'll cry now. When this is empty, he'll cry for it. <coughs> because what happens is he gets so comfortable, right? Just He gets so involved with what he's doing that when it's no longer there, you know, he gets mad. So then I have to deal with him getting mad. So there's a high probability he's going to start fussing right now. There you go. You're all done. Look at that. All done. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need for now, Amari. Okay, people, we'll be back. <laughs> See, he's fussing for it. <laughs> he wants more. <laughs> Oftentimes, I give him the big bottles, right? I give him the big bottles, right? That's why, I, that's why I'm buying bottles, people, right? Because <laughs> he's mad now. He wants more. <laughs> See, he's still fussing, right? So, I asked a pediatrician at one point if... Uh, Come on, give me burp. If, if Amari understands what it feels like to be full, right, in terms of, like, you know, his disability and stuff, he, he shook his head like, no, probably not, right? So, you know, that's another thing, right? But I do, I, I like, I'm shopping around for more bottles because like, for something like that, you know, an eight ounce is, you know, he can, he likes it, right? But it doesn't really matter what you give him in terms of a bottle. This is the end result of it, right? And then he'll calm he'll calm down. So, what we can do, there's another bottle. That one's a lay amaze, but Tisha can take out another one. If you notice, he's calmed down now. It's like a little ritual with him. It's a little routine, right? You know, he's still young. Hopefully he'll outgrow it. Right? So you just shake it. Yeah, we'll, we'll let him have this one since he was crying for more. It's just watermelon juice. It's not going to hurt him. If anything, it's going to be good for him, right? I don't think it's compacting. Watermelon is quite easy to digest. This one looks like it has a bit more fiber in it. But do you see how my life is slowing down, right, people? And, like, you know, I'm having to, you know, bite my tongue, right? And Well, not, like, what what I just went through is minor because we're used to it right and like you know we try and calm him down and distract him and then you know he goes on his merry way and uh so uh 
but yeah, no, like my life is like slowing down here, right, people? With all these things I have to do and just not enough time with it, with these predators circling around like sharks, right? Just taking a nip here and a nip there, right? You know, just getting ready for the attack, people. I'm just waiting for it, you know? It's coming. I can feel it coming from somewhere. I don't know where the fuck it's coming from, but it's coming from somewhere, right? Obviously, the court stuff is a big one with, you know, with the lawsuits and stuff because, you know, they don't... These people that, you know, are all high and mighty with their $250,000 income paychecks yearly and, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't have no value other than what's in their portfolio. That's the only thing that they value in life. They don't value stuff like this, people. They don't. They see Amari as a commodity, right? You, you know what I mean? Something to exploit later on down the line, Right. Like I said, if, if if he was in foster care right now, whoever was looking after him would be like getting over over three thousand dollars a month with all their expenses paid, expenses paid, in addition to you know van subsidies and all this other crap they would need in order to look after him. But whoever is monitoring that situation, I highly doubt people that, you know, they are making sure that Amari is getting watermelon juice, beef broth, and all this other stuff, right? You know, because that's, that's not the priority. The, you know, that's, for them, you know, he'd probably be put on some freaking experiment because, you know, there's nobody there to advocate for him. Just hold on, I'm doing a video, so stay quiet. Right, look how fast he's drinking it. Do you see how fast he's drinking it, people? Bottle is almost empty. <laughs> and he'll probably cry when I take this one away. Right? Does he understand? Does he understand that his stomach is full? I'm not sure. Um, one time, I don't think so. Because one time, he came back from, you know, the other grandmother, right? And, um... Within the hour or hour and a half or whatever it was, right? I ended up giving him a bottle for nighttime, eh? Like to put him to bed. And oh my God, I, what a mistake that was, people. That was a huge mistake because he was so bloated. I was afraid he was going to explode because I didn't realize how much they had fed him before they brought him home. And then when I gave him that bottle, <coughs> like I said, he was ready to explode. And, and I was so scared for the whole night as to, you know, what would happen because his stomach was so hard from that bottle. So, you know, I have to be careful, right? You know? And uh, do you see how he's not holding it? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hey, hey. What, what you fussing for? There. See? Do you see him? He's, do you see? He wants to finish it. Like he gets hypnotized by it or something. And now he's got gas. I don't know what you're gonna do. If you were in my position, what would you do, people? Uh, you take it one day at a time, right? Now, and the bottle will be empty, and then he'll start crying all over again. Even though he's drank two two of these, which is about eight ounces, which he should be like full with liquid. All right. And when he gets to the point where it's empty, see, he knows. It's empty. <laughs> I gotta go, people. <laughs> Can you calm down? Oh, it's good now. That was good, wasn't it? You're fine. You're fine. You're a fine young man. You're fine. That's good now. Give him that a burp. Come on. Don't get all upset over an empty bottle of watermelon juice. So, I left it on, right? Because this is where you have to show patience. You have to be patient with this. I don't know what it's going to be like when he gets older. Because it. it's like a bad habit, right? And he's getting stronger, right? <laughs> so, anyway. You know, change him, and then I'm gonna put him on the floor for some playtime. Fine, 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 fine. You're just a fine, a fine, a fine young man. Are you gonna give your nana a bird?
Come on, Amari. Are you going to give your Nana a bird? Amari, you're just a fine, a fine young man. It only takes a couple of minutes. I had to stand up and sing and rock. Okay, okay, you're... He's still thinking about that juice, people. Okay, okay, you're just a fine... So it's not just simply give him a bottle and move on with your life. It's give him a bottle and have him calm down when he wants more, right? Or whatever it is that he really, really, really likes. You're just a fine, a fine, 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 a fine, a fine young man. Amari, you're just a fine, a fine young <coughs> Bless you, man. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so anyway, I'm still here. He's been fussy. <laughs> Trying to calm him down. I've been singing. What's going on? I don't know why he's fussy. Yeah. Mr. Wiggle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you tell me. Oh, Mr. Wiggle. Mr. Wiggles, he is a wiggle, Mr. Wiggle. He wants me to keep singing. Mr. Wiggle, wiggly, wiggly, wiggles, wiggly, wig, wig, wiggles, wiggly, wig, wig, wiggles, Mr. Wiggles. Mm -hmm. So I think I got some frozen blueberries. So I think his next little meal will be just frozen frozen blueberries by itself, because blueberries are easy to digest. All right. So you know, have to remember, people. He had pasta on Saturday. <laughs> so and some kind of cereal. I don't know what kind, but some oat type of cereal that had little berries in it that was more berries put inside of it so I'm hoping it's not that 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 you know Captain Crunch with berries or something dumb uh, you know those cereal boxes right but anyway so I'm just trying to get him to calm down once he calms down he'll be okay and then I'll put him I had him on the floor but he didn't want to be on the floor right now he wants to be hugged and cuddled and he wants to be held, and he wants to be sung to and rocked, and, you know, you have to nurture his spirit and nurture his emotions and nurture his soul. So that's what I'm doing right now. Do you see how my life is slowed down? <laughs> Mr. Wiggles, Mr. Wiggles, well, Andrew the Dragon is plotting behind my back, right? And CIBC Bank is going to be sticking it to me pretty soon, people, right? Because they're protecting Uncle John, right? As if they ever did, they never protected Uncle John. Just remember that, right? Mr. Wiggles, Mr. Wiggles, oh, oh, oh are you a camera ham? <laughs> <coughs> I tell myself, this is what's important in life. Everything else, yeah, yeah, it's important, but not as important as this. All right? And so, you know, enjoy it while I have it, because, <laughs> you know, one day people, well, they've been trying. They've been trying to take it away from me from day one, people. Take him away from me for one reason or another, right? And, you know, it's easy for other people to talk and, you know, they're book smart or, you know, they think whatever they think. But you know, until you actually go through it and you stick it out, they don't know. They only think they know, right? 
but it's being in that tunnel with people jabbing at you and going into that great big cavern that's in the dark with you know, CIBC Bank and Fraser Health Authority twice and you know, provincial government in general in terms of just the public union sector and their employees when you're dealing with cops and all this crap. You know, I still believe that Amari was injured at birth. I believe that through the C-section, that's <clears throat> like within those three days when Shimei was going back and forth to the hospital and they kept sending her home. Like they sent her home for like two days in a row and then the third day, you know, finally at the very end, you know, and they blamed her for it because she wanted to try and have a natural birth. And so she said, well, you know, I want to hold out for a little while longer. And anyway, long story short, they ended up doing the C-section. But maybe that C-section needed to be done on the first day when she went in. Because I don't think they did any tests. I don't think they did any tests. I think they just said, oh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, false contractions go home. And the next day, same thing, she went back to the hospital. They said, oh, no, false contractions go home. And then the third day... You know, I have video proof of him showing symptoms of brain damage as they were cleaning him right after they took him out of her womb because he was jittery like this and he his body was sporadic in terms of it jumped on its own. Babies don't just flip, right? And they didn't, they didn't, they didn't do anything. They just, they ignored it, people. They ignored it. They ignored it. And then we didn't really start noticing it. I started noticing something wrong with his eyes when he was about four months old. I'm talking. When I was about four months old, that's when I started noticing maybe his eyes weren't. Because I didn't spend a lot of time with Shmei. I didn't want to I didn't want to take over, right? I wanted Shmei to mother her own child. And, you know, if she really needed me, she knew where I was. And she had her and you know sister right down there every day off throughout the day in and out right so it's not like she was down there by herself tending to a baby but you know that man that the father it was just an asshole man stressed her out too much through it all through her pregnancy after the pregnancy the whole nine yards right put my pot back i have bought four oh, pot oh. and i haven't even I had know, one i know i know just, just one more for you okay Oh, I'm saving the last one for you. Mm. Can, can I have this one? See, now he's on my lap, do you see? Where is he? Can't see. Let's see. He's kind of like on my lap. Being a little fuss pot. No, can I have this? Well, this is an odd video, people. Yes, Andre, go ahead. He's pushing himself up, so he's exercising his arms. All right? You'll see he'll do it in a minute. And he's just kind of like laying across my lap. All right? He's being a little ham right now. Are you being a little ham? Push yourself up the way you just did. You head yourself right up. Right? Huh? Do you know? Are you a camera ham? Yeah. Yeah, camera ham? Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? See, this has like been on what, 45 minutes now, people? <laughs> Oh, now he's getting happy. <laughs> well, he was just, come on, you were just happy a minute ago. You were just being happy a minute ago. Yeah. Oh, you were just being happy a minute ago. Oh. He wants to run and play, but he can't. Do you see how he's using his arms? So this is good. Pushing himself up. Hold on, I've got to change his position now. Normally he's not a little fuss pot. He's just being a little fuss pot. Why are you being such a little fuss pot? Huh? You're just being a little fuss pot. A fuss pot. <laughs> just being a little fuss pot. Oh yay, a fuss pot. 
just a fuss pot, a fuss pot, a fuss pot. This is where I need to bring out my guitar, strum a, strum a few tunes, <laughs> write some words down to it, and become famous, people. Oh, you're just being a little fuss pot, a fuss pot. Oh, just a little fuss pot. When you're not a little Wiggles, Mr. Wiggle. <laughs> does it look like I'm getting any cooking done today? <laughs> it doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> but you have to spend time with him, right? When he needs it. This Obviously, he needs it right now, right? Because he's actually pretty good at amusing himself. But for some reason, he's just not feeling that great today. Right. Uh, the um, he was in physiotherapy. I guess yesterday. Yesterday he was at physiotherapy in the morning, <coughs> and they noticed it. He was not as easygoing, happy self. He was a little, I guess you could say, agitated. And Tisha said, "Well, yeah, because he's constipated, right?" <laughs> so he did have a poo yesterday, but he probably has more. And then, because he had pasta on Saturday, you know, that's why I'm not going to give him any more beef, because I gave him the beef yesterday. The other one, the, whatever's there, I'm going to put into two separate containers, and I'm going to freeze it. And then later on, he's going to get beef broth with spinach, and maybe some broccoli, with just a couple strands of noodles. And that's pretty much it for, like, that kind of thing, right? And then, of course, you know, I'm going to give him some blueberries at some point. And then I'll give him a yogurt. And then, you know, he hasn't had a bottle of warm milk. He never got a bottle of So he might be fussing for his milk, right? Because he likes his warm bottle of milk. He didn't get warm bottle of milk last night because I gave him the food. I tried to give him the juice. He didn't want it. And then I gave him some milk, cold milk, in a sippy cup. As I tell him that he's going to get bigger, right? He's growing and he can't always drink out of a bottle. So he he drank he drank the majority of the milk that I gave him. It wasn't very much. It was just a little bit enough to wet his whistle, right? As if you were to eat a meal and drink a bit of milk, right? And then uh, this morning, you know, he didn't get milk, right? So anyway, yeah, now he's just playing. But he doesn't want to be by himself on the floor. He wants to be held for some reason. So, you know, when that calls, I try and fill that gap for him, right, you know, I feel that need for him, you know, because he needs that in order to grow, but again, it slows down my life, right, you know, not that I'm complaining, I'm not, it's just, you know, this is where other people take advantage of me, right, they, they, they take advantage of my situation, right, just like they were taking advantage of the yard when Uncle John was taken, right, they took Uncle John and you know, this, those people that took Uncle John, what did they do? They tried to get me kicked out of my house. They tried to get me to lose Andre. And, you know, and then Shimei gets murdered. And then you know, other people trying to get me to lose Amari and Andre. And, you know, just, and fuck, it just never ends. Like, there's something wrong with people in this world. <laughs> right? So, anyway. I'm just amusing him. <laughs> Long video, right? I still have to go in the kitchen and keep on cooking. <laughs> so, I'm just kind of showing you what I go through in a day. I mean, there is no, there is no set routine, right? Because you know, when he he needs attention, he needs attention, and uh, you know, this is this is mild compared to trying to help him to poo, <laughs> right? Because on those days, it, it it can be pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, 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 how do you say that word? I'm so tired. Um, her, her, you know, it, it's, 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 uh, oh, it starts with an H, right? I kind of know how to say it, but not really, right? It's, it's like, it's not horrendous, but it's, it's like, it's, oh, it, it, it's, it's traumatizing, not only for him, but it's traumatizing for you, right? You know, seven hours later, and, you know, it's like, you can see he's really struggling with it, and then what comes out is it's like rock hard, and it's solid, and, you know, it's worse than a freaking, like, nobody wants that. Nobody, so. Anyway. He's just playing. Can you see? I'm just holding him, giving him some time to sit here and play. Whoops. We have to hold him. 
think the battery's running low. Okay, okay. Tisha lost his eye patch. And they gave us little finger things, but for the life of us, we can't find them in the house. <sighs> and then they gave her one more, and I'm like, Tisha, go get it, because if you give it to me, then maybe I can try and make something in that sewing room of mine in terms of these little finger things, right? And he's got little braces now. I haven't seen the braces yet. So I don't know how he's going to respond to those things. Let's see. Stop looking at those hands. All right, people. Okay, now he seems to be somewhat happier. So back on with what I was doing. All right. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep the juice, I think. I'm going to taste it first. But anyway, take this out and we'll chop it up. Right. See? He's playing. He's moving himself around, right? So he's been getting stronger. All right, so I've strained it. This here is the marrow that was in the fridge, so I'm going to run my fingers through it, chop it up fine. This is the fat and little bits of teeny weeny bits of meat. I don't know what kind of beef bones I bought. I like the ones that I was cooking with the last time I did this. Um, I don't know. Maybe I bought them at a different store. I don't know. But anyway, that's okay. So I'm going to end up putting all of this, if not half of it. I'm not sure yet. All of that for sure, the marrow, into there after I check for bones. At least this much. I've already checked it, so that can go in there. I'm not going to worry about trying to decrease it, people. I'm not, because, again, it kind of defeats the purpose of what I'm trying to do here. So, you know, as you can see, that absorbed it very well. So, technically, I can, you know, don't... If, if it was a famine... You wouldn't be throwing any of it out. So anyway, I checked it for bones. There's nothing in there. Right? This is just the broth. Here's the uh, juice from the spinach. It actually tastes pretty good. So I'm just going to pour that in there. Okay? You can see what I've done. Right? And then I'm going to go through that. And then this here, I will, t since this one was in the fridge, right, I will take off the grease on this one. Okay? I'm not going to take it off on the other one. That one's going to go in with grease. So I'll take off this one. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to pour it into the big pot. And then I'm going to start jarring it up. That's what's going to happen here. After I get that in there. And then I've cut this into pieces. So some of those jars, I'm just going to put some of that into each jar. And then I'm going to pour the liquid in. And then I'm going to freeze it. And then that's what I'm going to use to cook meals with when I, you know, like the, the carrots that you seen me do yesterday, last night, with the sweet potato, right? That's going to just take out the juice, put it in the pot. You know, I might even start the vegetables first, right? Boil them down in just plain old water and then come along and then throw in a jar of broth with some spinach or without spinach, doesn't really matter, and just go from there. So hold on a minute. Okay, so this was that tarragon. The other one, no, I, I, it's over there. But anyway, this one here just came out of this pot, right? So I'm just going to take this. And I am going to just put it in there, people. Right? Now, it's a little greasy, but that's okay. Because it tastes really good. Right? And I just want to move on with things. So now I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to pour it in there. And then, hold on. Okay, so basically you can see what I'm doing. So I just put the spinach a little bit in the bottom of the jar and I'm filling it up, right? 
Now, I mean, you can take this and put it in the fridge and let it sit, and you can do that. But because it has all the, I, I put, you know, like, I want fat in it, people. That's the thing. And then I ended up, you know, putting that marrow in there. You know, it's, it's going to look like that, right? And um, I'm not too worried about it, right? Because you can dilute it, and it's not just for Amari, right? You know, it's not like you're giving the whole thing to Amari, right? And what's going to end up happening, too, is... So when this freezes, and obviously the grease is going to go to the surface. So if you really wanted to, after it unthaws, you chances are the grease will be sitting on top. Just make sure you don't fill your jar all the way up. Because uh, I think if you fill them up too close to the rim when it's rising, it can crack the jar. Every now and then, you'll get a cracked jar. Right? So... I'm thinking because it rises up and when it gets up into this part, it, you know, it's not like it's a wide mouth jar. If it was a wide mouth jar, maybe less chance of it cracking. But so anyway, that, that's fine, right? You don't put the lid on it when, uh, technically I should be canning these. I should be pressure canning them, people. I don't really have room in my deep freeze. <laughs> Especially now that I bought those extra bones. <laughs> But whatever, I'll figure it out. This, I think this just might be a little more convenient. Right? And as you see, I'm stirring it before I scoop out the juice, right? Do you see? And not all of it is going this way. Some of it's going in the fridge, right? So hold on a minute. Okay, so anyway, I'm satisfied with this. If you notice what I did... Because you want to put them in a box when you freeze them, right? So they don't clang on each other. And then, you know, if a jar breaks, a jar breaks. I find that baby bottles actually freeze pretty good. Once in a blue moon, a mason jar will crack for whatever reason. That's why I don't fill it up to here, right? I keep it here because as it's rising, I'm thinking once it gets to this point, maybe it's just too much and that's what cracks the jar. So, and then after it's all frozen, then you can put your lids on. But you don't put your lids on until after it's frozen. There's the blueberries, right? There's an extra jar there. Now, what's going to happen with this is I'm going to put it in a smaller pot. And I'm going to put it in my fridge. And then later on, that's what I'm going to make the noodles with. And I'm going to try and drink at least a cup a day myself. And I'm going to give to Amari as well. I'm going to worry about this. This is for another day. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to use this over the next four or five days. And because it's beef, it can stay in the fridge for four or five, six days. It's beef, people. Beef is good that way. If it was chicken, maybe not, right? For sure. You know, pork and chicken, they, they spoil faster. But beef, it will be fine. So... Within a week, this should be gone, if not sooner. And then as you put it in the fridge, you know, you can take off that grease. Because there's a fair amount there, right? But then don't forget, too, a lot of that is the marrow as well, right? Because I mashed it. So, mm, hold on a minute. Okay, so now I put it in a smaller pot. That's going in the fridge. That's what I'm going to eat throughout the week. Right? I'm going to still make noodles. I got a little bit of spinach in my sink. Right? We've got the broccoli. We've got the beef here. But Andre wants, uh, what is it called? Tacos. So I've got lettuce and cheese. So we're going to do a little tortilla with, uh, with this beef here. But I'm also going to try that noodle thing. Here's the blueberries for Amari. And then I, I left a little bit of spinach here to see if we can get him to eat this today. Right? And if you notice, I don't know if you can really see how much is there. You know, this is like, this is like a portion, really. So, in other words, that's all he should get. <coughs> Chop it up a little finer. You know, uh, you could put a little bit of broth in there. Right? Again, you'd have to, in this case, because you can see the grease is already rising. I mean, I if I had more time... 
You know, you can sit there and you can do this to get that fine grease off versus, uh, but it's not ready yet, right? But, you know, when the time comes, you just go like this. Well, by that time, it will be congealed. But anyway, you know, I can always take a tablespoon or so and just add it to the spinach. And that would be like one serving in terms of just, you know, like he's a little boy. And you've seen how much food I gave him last night. It still might be too much, right? So anyway, he's going to get that later. And he's going to get some blueberries later. And then um, there's a yogurt that he's going to get. And of course, he'll get a bottle of milk, right? No beef today, but maybe a bit more beef broth, right? Just... We'll see. Hold on. So anyway, people, I'm just going to upload it now because it's, it's, oh, oh, he wants attention now. It's a long video. We'll just end it on this. Did you see how he's moved himself around? He was way over there. He was over here for a while. Now he's kind of moved his body this way. Are you moving, Amari? Yeah. Are you bored now? You want Nana to come get you? Yeah. Okay. We'll just end it on this. Did you see how he's moved himself around? He was way over there. He was over here for a while. Now he's kind of moved his body this way. Are you moving, Amari? Yeah. Are you bored now? You want Nana to come get you? Yeah? Okay. <laughs>